Hi, Leos. Let's see what's going on with you all today. Spirit, what messages do you have for Leos? Give me three more cards for Leos. Two more cards for Leos. One more card for Leos. Give me one more card for Leos. All right, hold on. That's too many cards. Spirit, give me one more card for Leo. Okay. So, you have a love offer coming in with this Ace of Cups. Somebody is in love with you, um, want to emotionally fulfill you. But with this Two of Pentacles, I feel like y'all going to have two people to choose from. There is somebody that you're currently not talking to right now. Um... Some of you have been waiting on an apology from this person, and, and I feel like maybe you haven't gotten it. But it's like they want to come back, but they don't want to argue. Tell me about the Ace of Cups. Why is the Ace of Cups here? King of Pentacles in reverse. Mm -hmm. Tell me about this King of Pentacles in reverse spirit. Three of Cups in reverse. Yeah, this is definitely somebody that you broke up with that's still in love with you. Um, This could be someone who... Possibly could have been going through financial hardship, could have a gambling problem, could be in the streets, could just be materialistic. The list goes on. But this is someone that, you know, you two are not together um, for whatever reason. It could have, I feel like because they had you in a third party situation. Spirit, tell me about the Two of Pentacles. Why is the Two of Pentacles here? Clarify the Two of Pentacles. Six of Wands. Ooh. Somebody is about to start giving you a lot of recognition. But I also feel like y'all going to have a lot of different options um, with the Six of Wands here. Some of you may meet someone famous, someone of a high status, somebody popular in their community. They may reach out to you. You may run into them somewhere. Um, also, some of you may be ready to go viral. So if you're trying to be an influencer, or a YouTuber, or anything like that, you may go viral. Spirit, tell me about the Page of Pentacles in reverse. Clarify the Page of Pentacles. <clears throat> Somebody is really in their head overthinking because they really want to talk to you, but they don't know like how you're going to react if they reach out. Spirit, tell me about the Knight of Swords in reverse. Why is the Knight of Swords in reverse here? Somebody wants to come back. If somebody, if you feel like somebody abandoned you, rejected you, left you out in the cold, whatever the case may be, they want to come back. They want things to become more calm between you two because I feel like you're the calm to their storm, even if they're the ones that always cause the fucking storm. <laughs> Spirit, tell me about the Six of Wands. Why is the Six of Wands here? Hangman. Tell me about this Hangman Spirit. Why is the Hangman here? Somebody is starting to see things from a new perspective and they want to reveal something to you. They want to tell you the truth about something. They're tired of lying. They're tired of being deceptive. Spirit, tell me about this seven of swords in reverse. Why is the seven of swords in reverse here? Hierophant, they love you. They want to be in a relationship with you. I feel like they're tired of running. Tell me about this eight of swords, Spirit. Why is the eight of swords here? Eight of Pentacles in reverse. If this person feels trapped in another relationship, they are so unhappy. They are bored with that relationship. Um, also, I feel like another issue, and if that's not your story, then what the issue could have been is, like I said, this person could be materialistic, addicted to making money. So it's like they you may have felt like they wasn't making time for you. They put their career and finances before anything and they are stressed out because they don't know how to balance being with you, still making money, still pursuing their career. So it's like they feel like they're in between a rock and a hard place. Spirit, tell me about the five of pentacles and reverse and the six of swords. No, I pray. Yeah, I feel like this person maybe getting out of a connection with someone else because i feel like they had you in a third party situation so either you are just like no i'm not doing this shit no more i bow out gracefully or they're really letting somebody go 
Spirit, tell me about this Three of Cups in reverse. Three of Swords. Y'all gonna start seeing 333, which is confirmation of this um, reading. But I feel like this person is heartbroken right now. Tell me about this Three of Swords. They feel like somebody snaked them as well. Four of Cups in reverse. Yeah, if they were holding back from you, <coughs> they're not gonna be holding back much longer. You're gonna hear from them. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. They're manifesting you back into their life. They, This person feels like you're their soulmate. Tell me about the Three of Pentacles in reverse. Ace of Wands in reverse. Hmm. Tell me about the Ace of Wands in reverse. Not a Okay, y'all gonna have a lot of people about to pursue you because you're looking good, your money, if you've been going through any type of financial hardship, that's over. Your money is about to do really, really, really well. Um, some of you may be ready to have surgery. I, you may be getting in the gym, whatever. I don't know. You're ready to have a physical and a financial glow up. So you're gonna have people pursuing you. But here's the thing. Some of you may not feel like you're ready for new love or you're pushing new these new options away for whatever reason. Um, <clears throat> or you may just be at this point in your life where you're like, you know what, I'm just gonna enjoy being single right now. You may go on dates, but you may not take anyone serious at the moment. Spirit, tell me about this magician. Why is the magician here? Clarify the magician. Clarify. Seven of Wands in reverse. Yeah, this person wants the lines of communication to open back up. Um, if you block them, they want you to unblock them. If you felt like spirit was just blocking this connection, y'all were just experiencing all of this bad luck, that is about to change. Things are really about to change between you and this person. Let's see. Spirit, what is this person's intentions with Leo? What is this person's intentions with Leo? To come forward, to stop holding back. Tell me more. What is this person's intentions with Leo Spirit? To contact you. They want to talk to you. They also miss the sex between you two. Tell me about the page of wands. Why is it? Well, of fortune. They feel like you're their soulmate. They feel like it was meant for you to be together. They feel like God placed you in their life for a reason. The initial M could be significant. The initial T could be significant. Um, you have good luck coming in. So what is next in love for Leo? What is next in love for Leo? Seven of Pentacles. Somebody want to invest in the future with you. Something about the Seven of Pentacles. Why is the Page of Cups in reverse here? And this is somebody that you're currently not talking to. But with this star card, it's like they're hopeful. They still see a future with you. They want to... Um, Fix whatever they messed up because the star card represents healing from a tower moment. So y'all already went through the worst of the worst. Um, so something is going to change. I don't know if you hear this airplane, but this could signify like somebody living at a distance from you. Maybe they have to travel to come closer to you or something like that. Spirit, what is the final likely outcome for Leo's? Final likely you know what? This is your energy. Somebody sees you as somebody that's very beautiful, um, spiritual, sexual, generous, loyal. Some of you could be a single mother. Tell me about. And also, I'm telling you, you're showing up as your own energy, the Queen of Wands. You're about to have a lot of options. Tell me about the Queen of Wands spirit. Why is the Queen of Emperor Reverse, Ace of Pentacles, Eight of Cups. I feel like. This emperor is walking away from somebody and coming to you with a new love offer. Tell me about this emperor in reverse. Yeah, I feel like with this five of wands, they're willing to fight for you because they're starting to feel you moving on. They may be hearing that you are, that other people are pursuing you. Tell me about the ace of pentacles because the five of wands is all about um, competition. You have the eight of wands and then the knight of cups in reverse. So yeah, remember I just said about the airplane, eight of wands represents travel. Somebody may be ready to travel towards you or you're ready to travel. You're going to hear from this person within the next eight days. This is somebody that you felt like at one point was unreliable, untrustworthy, maybe a cheater. Tell me about this eight of cups. Why is the eight of four of wands? Somebody loves you. You feel like home to them. You're going to start to see 11, 11. That's confirmation of this reading as well. Um, some of you could be ready to move. Tell me about this four of wands. 
this person, when they come back, they may invite you to some sort of celebration or something. Death in reverse. Yeah, they can't let you go. I'm telling you, this person is coming back. Give me one final message for Leo. One final message for Leo's. Empress in the judgment card. Some of you are going to get pregnant. And y'all going to have to make a decision what you're going to do. Like, are you going to start a family with this person or not? Um, but you're about to be very, very abundant. This person really holds you in high regard, I'm telling you. Tell me about the Empress in the judgment. Why is the Empress in the judgment here? Five of Cups in reverse. Yes, I'm telling you. They regret breaking your heart. They regret making you cry. They really want to come back and fix things. They feel like it's unfinished business between the two of you. You just got to make the decision. Are you going to stay or are you going to go? This person is walking away. This one is pregnant. So I feel like it's a 50-50 split. Some of you may walk away. Some of you may stay. Um, it's really up to you. The choice is yours. The ball is in your court. Let's get some messages and see what they would like to say. Spirit, what messages do you have for Leos from the person on their mind? I'm sorry, I put my career before you. What the fuck did I just say? This person is stressed out because they don't know how to balance trying to get money and also give their time to you. I literally just fucking said that. I'm so psychic. Anywho, it says, I'm sorry I put my career before you. I'm trying to get out of debt. I'm willing to put in the time and effort now because I don't want to lose you. I said they wanted to start putting in effort. Spirit, tell me more. What would this person like to say to Leo's? What would the person on Leo mind like to say to them? I'm on a spirit, a spiritual journey. You have awakened me. Spirit, tell me more. What would this person like to say to Leo? Please unblock me. What did I also say? I literally said this person wants y'all to unblock them. And look what this card says. Please unblock me. Yeah, that's me calling you from an unknown number. Then it says you are different from the rest. They didn't mean anything to me. I only want you. Spirit, give me three more messages for Leo from the person on their mind. One more. I didn't feel like I was on your level. You're a boss. I'm very insecure. I can't stop thinking about you. I'm seeing the synchronicity. It's driving me insane. I didn't think you would walk away, but you did. Um, and then at the bottom of the deck, it says, I have abandonment issues. I grew up in a single parent household. I had a rough childhood. So this is probably why they act the way they act. Because if you've never seen better, you, sometimes you don't know how to do better. And so you really put that work in. And they are on a spiritual journey. So they're trying to get better. Um, but that's what I have for you, Leos. I'll talk to you again.